everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon, and I'm excited that you're here today, you guys, because we're gonna talk about five things, five components to a skincare regimen that can make the most impact on our aging mature skin. I will link studies in the description box. There will be a few pop-ups, of course. I'm back in my office. I've got my computer here in front of me because I wanna share with you some of this kind of exciting information that I feel like when used in concert can really have a strong impact on our aging skin. Now, this video is in collaboration with my friend Anne from the channel Anne P Makeup and More. If you guys don't know Annie, I hope that you will click the link in the description box. There will also be a link in my first comment down below. I hope you'll check out her video. She gives the most real world down to earth advice for the mature woman. I think that any of you who are of my age or older will appreciate her just real world honest advice. I know I do. Not to mention if you are somebody like me that listens to YouTube in the car, she has a very soothing voice and it's one of those YouTubers that I really like to listen to and not just watch, but listen to. So if you're one of those people, you definitely wanna check out her channel as well. If you're here from Anne's channel, I hope that you will consider sticking around because we talk about all kinds of skincare and some makeup around here as well, but it's just my jam. It is totally my jam. So I've put together a five component kind of regimen for you guys. This is not product specific. I knew right away when we decided on this kind of topic that I wasn't going to make it product specific. I know that some of you out there are gonna be looking for specific product recommendations. I'm gonna put the things that I like in the description box, but I'm not gonna talk about them specifically in this video because that's not what's super important. The processes are more important. The way that I kind of came about this um, idea of doing this this way is from the treatment room. When I do a consultation with somebody that I'm meeting for the first time, you know, of course I have them fill out consultation forms and then we sit and chat. And I always ask people, okay, give me the top two or three concerns, you know, for your skin. And usually what people will say to me is that they're concerned with, you know, dullness, maybe dehydration, dryness, lackluster skin, hyperpigmentation. But what I get all the time is sagging skin. I hear that all the time from the ladies that I see that are my age and older. They're starting to notice or they are definitely noticing sagging of the jowl area, maybe the neck area, and that bothers them more than anything else. And I'm curious if you feel the same way. I completely get it. We will talk and agree that a few fine lines aren't that big of a deal. But when your face starts to look like it's melting, that ages you more than anything. What I wanna talk about and focus on you guys is sagging skin. And so let's get into it. First of all, it's important to set up that we gotta move out the old in order to reveal the new. When we are children, we turn over our cells so fast. It's every few weeks, two to three weeks, and we've got a new set of uh you know new set of skin looking out at the world that's why it looks so beautiful fresh plump bouncy it's it's brand new skin every two or three weeks when we are little kids as we age by the time we're 50 five to six weeks before it turns over it slows way down so we do things to encourage it to speed along like microneedling for collagen induction and you know maybe microdermabrasion stuff like that but what you can do at home is number one you want to make sure that you are using alpha hydroxy acids that is number one in this list of five and in particular i suggest glycolic acid which is a small molecule that is going to give you the most bang for your buck the most anti-aging but it is also more irritating than the other option in my opinion which is lactic acid i love lactic acid if you've been here for a while you know that it's a larger molecule it is also a humectant and it's just more gentle so if you're new to alpha hydroxy acids i definitely suggest that you consider lactic now 
both of these alpha hydroxy acids are going to do a similar thing in that they're going to kind of break down the glue between those dead cells that are just hanging out on the surface of our skin. And once that happens, those cells are able to lift off more easily, revealing something new beneath it. Now, the other thing that we don't talk about very often is not only do we get that surface exfoliation, but a signal is sent into our deeper skin layers saying, hey, produce more collagen and elastin and you know move some new stuff forward. So it's not just the getting rid of the old that we want to you know expedite it moving along. It's the signal that is sent down deeper to produce more new. That's super, super important. Now that's number one, alpha hydroxy acids. Number two in this uh, five part regimen is gonna be your vitamins. Now in particular, vitamin A and vitamin C. Now vitamin A of course is gonna be your Retin-A, it's gonna be your retinaldehyde, it's gonna be your retinol. And for me, I'm loving retinaldehyde. I love it for many reasons. I think that it is easy to get. You don't need a prescription. It is less irritating than Retin-A, but it is stronger than retinol. It's just a really wonderful form of the vitamin, and I find that more people are able to tolerate retinaldehyde and get that dose of vitamin A. Now, vitamin A helps with remodeling the skin. It also helps with collagen synthesis, which is huge, of course. It also helps to retrain our cells to behave more properly, to behave more like they are young. It is an essential vitamin in kind of this fight against aging, if you will, in our skin. And I definitely suggest retinaldehyde. Now the other vitamin that is super important is vitamin C. Vitamin C, when done topically, is an antioxidant, of course. It's gonna help protect us against oxidative stresses. But it does more than that, you guys. It also does help copper peptides, which we're gonna talk about in a minute, to bind more tightly collagen strings. So vitamin C does more than just produce a glow and help to you know, protect us against the sun, that kind of stuff. It plays an integral role in collagen formation and tightening the skin. Something else that I'm going to suggest with vitamin C, and this is something that you need to speak with a healthcare provider, make sure that there's no contraindications in your own personal case, but is to consider ingesting vitamin C, 500 milligrams a day. That can greatly help your skin as well because it helps that copper. We don't talk about copper peptides too often. I know I haven't spoken about them a lot on this channel, but guys, they are the anti-aging linchpin as far as I'm concerned. They are right up there with retinoic acid and they definitely have a great impact, a studied impact on the collagen and elastin synthesis in our skin. They have a profound impact on the tightness of our skin and they definitely can help to kind of change the gene expression in our skin. Now, an analogy that I thought was really, really interesting that I read uh, in a book that I will cite in the description box is, our skin is like the keys of a piano. And when you first get the piano and it's all tuned, it can play beautiful music, right? But as you go along, as the years go on, let's say, the keys get out of tune, they don't play as beautiful of a song, that is like our skin. Our skin plays a beautiful tune when we are children, but as we grow older and we are damaged from, you know, just life, from the sun and from environmental stressors and from other things like our poor diet or maybe we smoke or drink, all of those things have an, an effect on our piano keys. And what copper peptides can do is they can actually change that gene expression and tune our skin. Get our, our piano back to playing a beautiful melody again. So copper peptides are integral if you want to tighten your skin. And they work hand in hand with some of those vitamins and definitely just are a piece of the puzzle that I don't think gets talked about as much as it should. Okay, so we have our vitamins. We have our alpha hydroxy acids. We have our copper peptides. And now the fourth thing is going to be 
hydration and moisture. And I'm gonna suggest to you to specifically look for squalane. Squalane is a emollient that is very, very good at helping to retain moisture in the skin. And our skin recognizes it and it's very, very helpful. Now, we talk a lot about like hyaluronic acid and things like that, and those are all great, but we also need something that will help to keep those humectants keep that water in the skin and squalane is one of them. Squalane is just an effective uh, moisturizer and it's also an antioxidant. It is used in wound care. And I just think for the maturing person who is going to use alpha hydroxy acids and any vitamin A derivative, any of these things that can kind of be irritating, squalane to me is one of those key ingredients that can really make a huge difference, not only in the way that your skin looks because it will look more hydrated and more plumped and more supple, but truly in trapping in water and keeping that dermis healthier. So squalane is number four. Number five is going to be LED. Now LED is super exciting, you guys, for multiple reasons, but number one is that LED can really affect the elasticity of our skin. As we grow older, our elastin fibers can get kind of a film a gluey film on them that causes them to have less bounce. They, they have less elasticity as we get older, which is part of the reason why we experience sag. Our skin isn't able to bounce back. If you lift it up the skin on your hand, as you get older, it doesn't kind of bounce back as fast. That is the degradation of elastin. LED is actually shown to help remove that gluey surface off of elastin fibers, which obviously will help them to kind of get their bounce back, which in turn is going to help with firmer skin. The other thing about LED, you guys, and I'm talking about red and near infrared LED, is that what it does is it causes the cells in our skin to produce something called adenosine triphosphate. You guys have probably heard that on this channel before. It is also known as ATP. It is a life source of our cells. Well, our fibroblasts actually use that ATP to produce collagen and elastin. So LED is non-invasive. It is very, very pleasant. It is something that you can do in your own home. You can obviously get in office treatments as well, but you can do this at home. And not only are you helping to kind of give your elasticity back to your skin, but you're also helping feed those fibroblasts that energy that they need to produce collagen and elastin. So LED is one of those treatments that while it is slow and subtle, it is actually very, very profoundly effective on the tightening of your skin, not just collagen production, but elastin, the quality of the elastin fibers and the number and production of elastin in our skin. Put all of these things together, you guys, and not only are you gonna affect the sagging of your skin, but you're also going to help with the dullness and the dryness and the luminosity of your skin. All of these things are being addressed at the same time that we are trying to address the sagging. And I gotta tell you, the more and more I study copper peptides, you guys, to me, it should be a non-negotiable. Now, I'm super excited to be putting this video out today on a Wednesday because I have not filmed my Friday Q&A yet. So I'm sure that there will be questions. This was a huge topic and I just skimmed the surface to give you those five components of an effective, mature kind of um, attack <laughs> on our skin, you know? Let's, let's get in there and really fight for our skin. So if you have questions, leave them down below and I will try and address them when I film the Friday Q&A tomorrow. And uh, hopefully then we can have a really good conversation about this particular regimen. Now, I hope you guys will check out Annie's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is skimming the surface. There's so many more details to each one of these components, but I wanted to give you guys just an overview so that you have kind of a framework of a potential skincare plan. If sagging skin is something that bothers you as much as it bothers me and a lot of my clients. 
I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope you will join me in the Friday Q&A. I will talk to you again very, very soon. Take care.